It's uh, four minutes past nine. We are waking up this morning to the biggest walkout in NHS history with tens of thousands of nurses and ambulance staff striking in England. A bank holiday style service is expected with operations and appointments very likely to be cancelled. Well, Dr Amir joins us now. Um, Amir, it's so sad that it's come to this. Um, what can we expect today? What, if, if you're a patient or if you're a person a little bit worried about an appointment, what should you be doing? Morning, Lorraine. Yeah, it is very sad it's come to this. And today, as you say, is the, it starts the, the beginning of a week of, of record-breaking NHS walkouts. We've got them throughout the week. Today, it's the turn of uh, nurses and ambulance service across England mainly. Then tomorrow, we've got nurses and physios in Wales. Wednesday is the only day of the week with no strikes, then more physios on Thursday and ambulance staff again on, on Friday. It's worth noting that Today, mainly the strikes across, uh, are across England for the, for the nurses. In Wales, the uh, negotiations around pay have recommenced, so they have stopped the strike action there. And that is what we need the government here in England to do. But instead, they're hiding behind the NHS pay review uh, body, which they call independent. But to be fair, the independent NHS pay review body works within the constraints of the government and the budget the government sets. So it's not completely independent. And it's worth noting, I know there'll be lots of people who are frustrated with cancelled or postponed appointments. The nurses are striking for us, for the patients. They're not just doing it for pay. They want to be able to retain staff, improve working conditions so they can improve the care that they give to patients. There are thousands of vacancies across the NHS, meaning nurses can't provide the care that they want for their patients. And this is part of the reason they're, they're striking. The government say they can't afford it, and they they you know. But and I think the government are relying on us, the British public, to be fed up with these yes. strikes, to lose apathy, uh, empathy. Sorry, with the yeah. with the nurses. But it's not going to happen. You know what we can see off the government is that they're wasting millions and millions of pounds on oil companies that are making record profits. They're subsidising them. They're subsidising water companies that are polluting our rivers and seas. They're subsidising energy companies that are forcing people to have prepayment meters and they're wasting millions on bogus PPE contracts. We need that money to be spent on the ordinary working people, which is what seems to be forgotten in all of this. These are the people that are going to care for you and I, Lorraine, when we get sick. So we need to support them and continue to support them. I hear what you're saying, Amir, and I know how passionate you are about it. We did get a statement from Steve Barclay, the Health and Social Care Secretary. He says, this is what he's saying, he says, I have held constructive talks with the trade unions in pay and affordability and continue to urge them to call off the strikes. He says it's time for the trade unions to look forward and engage in a constructive dialogue about the pay review body process for the coming year, which doesn't sound to me like there's any sort of concession or anything like that. So what, okay, well, well that happens and while we're trying, desperately wanting them to get into the same room and talk to one another, what do, should we do if we need an ambulance today? What, what would you yeah. advise? So first of all, that is just a word salad from Steve Barclay. It doesn't actually mean anything. But if you do need an ambulance, uh, if it's a life-threatening emergency, still call 999. That's really important. For anything else, you might have to wait for an ambulance if your area is affected by the ambulance strikes. But NHS 111, GP surgeries like ours and dental surgeries are still open. And if you've had your appointment cancelled or postponed, uh, but because of the nursing strike, you will have received a letter. But if you haven't had that letter, please still go to your appointment at the hospital. Thank you, Amir. Wise words, as, as always. And of course, if you're phoning an ambulance, it should always be for an emergency. Don't not phone. But at the same time, how many people phone when they don't need to? So for goodness sake, let's all be sensible uh, about this. And um, Amir, no doubt we shall talk about it tomorrow. Thank you very much indeed for now. Thank you.